my wife, my wife, uh, she, we went out, she dressed up very nice. She dressed me very nice. <laughs> I'll laugh it up, she dresses me. My wife, look at, uh, this outfit had a sticky note that said Saturday. <laughs> I'm, I'm her personal little Build-A-Bear. Uh, All right, our next guest is using his Hispanic upbringing in a small Texas town to launch himself as one of the country's hottest comics right now. Please. I am good looking. (laughs) Yes, that's exactly Steve Trevino, Mr. Good Looking, as he calls himself. Steve, we love your form of comedy, especially that skit we just heard right there. I got to say, I may or may not dress my husband as well. I'm not going to lie. Don't we all? That's all I do is I talk about my relationship with my wife, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, at first I was like, well, maybe people aren't going to get it, but there's so many people that come up to me and go, oh my God, you live my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, well, and I, I tell people all the time, it's like, like I have a friend who's not married, right? Okay. Never been married yep, my yep. age. Yep. Okay. We go to his house and he's got cars, trucks, <laughs> motorcycles, he's got a pool table, <laughs> guns, boats, you know, yeah. and we leave his house and my wife goes, oh my God, Donnie's rich. <laughs> I go, but do you see what he doesn't have? A you. Aww. I have towels I can't touch. <laughs> Pillows. But, they, but I, I guarantee they you. match. Yeah. They match. Right. And candles I can't light. Because <laughs> my wife can't stop buying things that we don't need. Okay. Right? Okay. Like now with Amazon, oh my God, there's always a box at the house. You can get it in an hour oh, now. That's what she tells The shipping was free. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to get to the shipping. You have to spend so much so you get to that free shipping. Well, and she always tells me, I needed it. I need, and I go, so one time I'm like, all right, let me see what you needed it. I open the box. I don't even know what it is, right? I've lived on this earth a while. I have no idea what this is. It's a golden twig with golden leaves. There was a hummingbird. And then it came to a curved, tiny little bell, right? No, no ringer. I go, I go, what is this? She goes, oh, that, it's to put out candles. Oh, I said, really, honey? <laughs> free. That was free. I could do that for free. The shipping was also free. Oh. That's what I talk about. I yeah. talk about my wife and my life. Well, now we have the little boy. You know, yes, we have a, how is it being a so dad? Cute. Yes, he's adorable. It is awesome because I get to play with him and my wife deals with all the, the heavy stuff. And my wife gets mad. She's like, you, you just don't. You, and I go, it's not that I don't want to help. He doesn't, li- he doesn't want me. You know, like when he's sick, you know, and by the way, thing. let me tell you something hilarious. <laughs> he calls me dad, which by the way, is the most amazing feeling when your kid mm-hmm. calls, right? Aww. He calls my wife, babe. Oh, I was going to say, that, that, that's a good it's compliment. It's hilarious. <laughs> like, there's nothing funnier than hearing him on the monitor, babe. <laughs> and, and my wife would be like, can you help me? I'm like, uh, he clearly said babe. Well, and you know, that's so, you. And I was going to say, before, the, uh, before we started our interview here, you were sharing with me that your wife obviously also dresses your son, but you put an age limit on yes. that. I'm, I'm wondering Ooh, if I should take it? notes. I told my wife she can, she can dress him and she can cut his hair the way she wants until he's five. And then he's oh, five. that's actually pretty generous. Five. I was say I, I don't know how I feel about that. Might have to have some negotiation. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, my husband's I, like, know, at I, one, he's I, not a baby anymore. I just don't want his clothes to be his identity. Yeah. Aww. You know, I, I grew up, you know, cowboy boots, jeans, mm-hmm. and a t-shirt, and my father always had my hair cut short. And you know, I, I remember growing up, and you see these kids who, who, you know, if they weren't dressed hip, they just weren't themselves. So I want my son to just be normal kid right you know and by the way i make good money so now my kid's gonna be the rich kid so we gotta really <laughs> we gotta really make sure that he's not that guy oh you know well he's I mean? a doll well, hey i want to talk well. about uh, how much time you spent in florida the last time you were here you got to take part in a fishing show how yeah, was we, that we, it was awesome you know i love to fish i love uh-huh. to hunt and i'm here in west palm beach at the improv on the other side of the the island uh-huh. here, the peninsula and um i got hit up and they were like hey we'd really like to take you fishing and this this female fishing guide named dar sizzle uh-huh. took me out fishing and we had an amazing time and then we took a picture together and she was in a bikini <laughs> and then all of a sudden all these people are like your wife captain evil is she okay with it because oh. they call my wife captain evil because that's what i call her <laughs> on stage because she's like a messed up superhero where is your wife i wouldn't need your wife need does she travel with Every, you is she here yeah. well she's gonna we be need to go out for drinks uh, next week we're in vegas and okay. she's coming her and the baby are coming and then tacoma so she t- said let's not do tampa but if my wife's with me at the show more
more people take pictures with my wife than me. <laughs> I'm saying, I know. I would like, People her. are like, I don't want to take a picture with you. I want to take a picture with Captain Evil. <laughs> you got to meet the wife. And her, they got to do a little Captain Evil doll, right, with her little Louis Vuitton. And her, <laughs> I don't know who Louis Vuitton is, but ever meet him, I'm going to punch him in the throat. Uh. You tell his little brother, Michael Kors, I'm looking for him, too. Oh. All right, so Captain Evil won't be there this weekend, but you will provide the we're not laughs. I know. Oh. <laughs> Friday, uh, Friday night, Saturday night, and uh, it's going to be a good time. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for helping us laugh this morning. Love the, love the family time. humor.